when might you not want to use a lot of movement with somebody? There's a problem in the joint. When what? Round the head. Tell me about that. Just come back a little bit for me. That's <coughs> Tell me about the head. Why would you not want to do a lot of work around the head? The vibration works too fragile. Actually, thinking about it, I do use vibration. I'm thinking, I do use a vibration technique. But why have you said that? Because you've got the sensors. Yeah. yeah, so there's what 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 do we have that the senses balance? balance, balance, balance. balance. Yeah. The inner ear, yeah, and the eyes as well, don't they, give you information. But actually the truth is, it depends on how you do it. So uh, there's a lot of work around the neck that you can do. I'm not going to show you now. But there is work around the head that you can do. But what you need to think about is not disorientating somebody with their balance. Okay? So a gentle, let's just see what Christian thinks of that. No. Okay. It's okay. But I can send yeah, it to uh, Yeah. So uh, what I would tend to do is more that. I prefer that. Yeah. Okay, just checking. And, and with the vibration, there's nothing to stop you doing the very light fingertip stuff around the face. That's quite nice for tension areas. Okay. Then you still have all sorts of possibilities with the movement of the hips. Now this way round, anything you notice immediately? It's not, not as free, is it? Yeah. It's not as mobile. Okay, not as mobile. But if I come down here, what do you think? It's quite not, nice. Still not as it would be. It's quite nice down here, right? So you have you're a definitely bit. more more the feet. So yeah, yeah, the feet. So and um, we could do one leg and the other, same as the other way around. Now this is lovely for the hip. Lovely for the hip. So I'll do a lot of that. Uh, this is what we did the other way around, but it works better like this. So I'm going to show you what happens. No, he said yes. Now this is, <laughs> he said yes, he said that's okay. This is two legs together in the same process. I'm pulling and pushing and then finding a rhythm between the two. And I might pull a little bit more, I might push a little bit more. Or I can do one at a time. I prefer to use one leg at a time. And then what I want you to see is what happens through his body. Look at what happens through the rib cage. Makes I, look at that movement. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Now you're doing belly dance. And wherever you take. <laughs> The leg will affect that movement through. This takes a while to get used to. It's a bit like the, um, you know, that pushing and getting the body mobilized. It's a very, your hands need to be really alive and sensing the body's rhythm, okay? And it takes time. So please don't give up. I'm going to give you some support, but don't give up on it. Watch it, feel it. And, and just keep practicing with that. And all things take a little bit of time, and this is one of them. Um, the bouncing. <clears throat> bouncing. All I'm doing here is lifting and allowing that leg to bounce on the couch. I can do both. We can find out how he likes that, doesn't matter. You like to bounce. Yeah. So when you bounce, do you also pull? <coughs> I'm literally, it's the same as, it's the same as bouncing a ball. Because okay. I'm having to kind of use some of my energy to allow it to literally just, you know, just catch the top of the couch and come back up again. So again, it's more, it's hard for me to tell you exactly how I do that. You have to feel it. You have to feel that. Okay. Um, same with the arm. You know, for those people who are quite stiff, these kind of movements just help them let go. Yeah, I've got full control now. 
I didn't have. So if I didn't have, I might have done the little bits. And then just let him learn to let go. And then I might use that bouncing again. See how that works? Bouncing. Bouncing, 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 bouncing. <laughs> Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. You can see how it really releases things, can't you? Yeah? Good. One more thing to show you. Um, rib cage. Again, we can use, this is more the oscillation. Rocking, again, would be really pushing and allowing that to rebound. But you can use the smaller movements in an oscillating way just to really release the rib cage. Yeah, good. What's for the back? Huh? I, I like it for my back as yeah, well. Yeah, you can yeah. feel it, right? Yeah. Feel it all the way through. Why can he really feel that all the way through to the back? Because that's where they're attached, yeah. So it's using the rib cage to actually move the spine. Um, just hang on. You need to have your hold above, or below rather, the joint that you're moving. So if I want to move the arm, I need to be aware of which, which part I'm holding to give freedom of movement elsewhere. I'm also not going to grab. So the, you know, if I want to swing his hand, do you want to come in here? If I want to swing his arm and using his hand, I'm going to literally just cup around the thumb there and above just gently on the hand. And then I actually am moving every other joint. But it's a very gentle hold, isn't it? I'm not grabbing anything. Same when you're going to actually bounce. Very gentle hold. I think there's nothing worse than feeling pinching when somebody's doing a stretch on you or movement on you. I actually, you know, I cannot relax if I feel that I'm being pinched. So wherever you're holding, uh, let's, let's look at the feet again. So if I was doing the bouncing on the leg, I'm going to be under the ankle here and on top, and it's a light hold. It's a very light hold. I'm not pinching anything. Just be aware of that, because when you first start, because you're anxious and tense and trying to get it right, the tendency is to grab. Okay, so it's a very light hold. All right? You want to have a go at some of those? Yes. Good. Good. I've done your